Hey guys, today we're going to be learning a little bit about BIM. So right now, I'm currently in my video tutorial repository where we have our readme and main.cpp file. BIM is an editor that you can use within the terminal to edit files such as your readme or main files and so on. So to open up your BIM editor for a certain file, you type BIM and let's edit our main.cpp. And it'll open up your main.cpp and it'll be a blank screen because I have nothing in there. But now you can edit your file, you can insert text and so on. So what you can do is, to insert text, you can go to insert mode by pressing the I button. So I'm going to put our simple program. So right now I just did a simple hello world program. And once you want to finish editing everything, you want to just press the escape button and it'll take you back to normal mode where you can cruise around using the H, J, K, and L keys to move up and down within your Vim editor screen. Also, you can use the up, down, left, right arrow keys as well. Now, there's also a different mode where you can go, which is called visual. You can either press the V and you can move around, it will highlight text, or you can press escape to exit and press the shift V, which will highlight lines of code. This is useful to copy codes and move it around or delete certain blocks of code. One way to delete a certain line of code, you can press the D button twice and it'll delete the whole line of code that your cruiser is on. So to press DD, it'll delete it. But let's say you want to undo what you just did. All you have to do is press the lowercase u and it comes back up. A cool thing that you can have is that whatever you delete gets placed into a buffer. So if you delete the line 7, press D twice, you can press the P button and it'll paste it below your current cruiser. So as you can see, I move C out below return 0. I can also undo that with U or I can delete it again, move up to my return, and I can press Shift P to paste it above it. Another useful thing that you can use within visual mode, I'm going to press Shift V to highlight a line of code, press Y to copy, and then that puts into the buffer that I can either press P or Shift P to paste above or below my current cruiser position. I'm going to press Shift P to paste above my position right now, and you'll see that we have C out and uh, hello world. Now if you want to save your program as it is right now, you can type shift colon, which will move your cruiser down to the bottom left of the screen, where you can type commands that Vim can interpret. W is for saving, Q is for quitting. You can combine commands like W and Q to save and then quit the program. So let's say I didn't save and I just press Q. Vim will print an error to the screen saying that you did not save your program. You can press the shift colon again to re-enter your save command, which is W, and then you can press Q to quit. And you can go back inside as well and you'll see that everything's saved. Or if you didn't save anything, or if you did want to say what you had, you can press shift colon, Q to quit, then exclamation point to overwrite everything. So let's say that you want to put, and you don't want this, all you gotta do is type shift colon, Q exclamation point, It'll quit and not save, and there you go. If you come back into it, you'll see that's not there anymore. But if you want to open up a separate tab in your Vim editor, what you can do is you can type colon tabby followed by the path or the name of the file in, the, in your current directory. So our current directory was, was a repository, so I have our main and our readme.md file. So I can press tabby readme.md and open up our readme file that we have. But let's say you want to switch back to your main.cpp tab. Without pressing shift colon, you can type gt while you're in normal mode and it'll switch your tabs. You can press it again and just switch between the tabs. But let's say you want to close your readme.md tab. What you have to do is type shift colon again, type tab close. And there you go, it'll close that tab. Another cool option for Vim is inserting at the very end or beginning of the line. Instead of cruising all the way to the end of the line to insert something, you can type shift a, and I'll take you to the very end of the line where you can insert anything that you need. As well, you can press escape to exit out of insert mode. You can press shift I to insert the very beginning of the text. Let's say you want to put C out, and L. Then that way, you don't have to like cruise all the way to the beginning of the text. Then press escape to exit out of insert mode. Then you can type shift colon WQ to save and quit. Also, instead of pressing shift A or shift I, you can also press lowercase A and lowercase I. For instance, lowercase a will get you into insert mode after where the cruiser is currently. So if I press a, you'll see that I get into insert mode after the e by escape, and I press i, 
and I'll take my insert mode where I currently am right now. And it's really useful for getting around and not having to like select where you are currently. Now if you ever want to view what's inside of a file, instead of going into your vim editor to see the file itself, you use the cat command on the command line, which will take whatever file you put after your cat as standard in and put it standard out, which is our terminal screen. So I want to view our main.cpp file, so I'll type cat main.cpp, it'll paste everything within main.cpp. One last command that's really useful within vim, you open up our readme file. So once you're within your vim editor, if you type shift g, it'll take you automatically to the very bottom of your file. If you press G twice, I'll take it to the very top of your editor. Alright guys, hopefully this helps a lot. I'll see you in the next video.